ladies and gentlemen, it has begun Mortal Kombat! That is the dumbest shit I have ever done, and I will never do it again. <laughs> yes, we officially got an, an announcement for Mortal Kombat 12 um, from the most unlikeliest source and the most unlikeliest person, too. That being David Zaslov, who has made himself, now that, uh, that Bob Chapek is gone, the new biggest piece of shit that we all like to dunk on. So, yes, during a quarter, a, a, um, during a meeting, uh, apparently it was announced that Mortal Kombat 12 will be released, they were talking about video game releases, and along with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, um, Mortal Kombat 12 was officially announced. Now, it's kind of funny because, you know, Ed Boon has been very coy about this, and we've all been kind of nervous about the future of NetherRealm Studios, because remember, literally everyone was trying to pawn, uh, like, everyone who took ownership of Warner Brothers basically wanted to um, sell off NetherRealm Studios, and we were all kind of afraid of that, but it does look like now the waters have kind of, tur have kind of calmed, and now... Um, the, uh, I guess, I, I guess David Zaslov's heart grew three sizes, like two sizes larger, and then Scorpion came along and ripped it out of his chest. Who, who the fuck knows, really? So, yes, we are, this is the official confirmation of Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat 12. Now, disclaimer, just because they did say that this was coming out this year, that doesn't really mean a lot. That, what this basically is, is that it, a lot can happen. Like, a lot of games are announced for one year, and then it gets delayed. So for all we know, the announcement for the... Because remember, Kill the Justice League was supposed to come out, like, three years ago. So keep that... Do keep... While we do have that 20... Uh, that Kill the Justice League is finally coming out this year, MK12, while it was announced and supposed to be coming out this year, you have to keep in mind that a lot happens in the background. A lot happens in the background of these games so it could get delayed till 2024 or even god forbid further than that so you have to keep that in mind even though Zazla, like they were talking about that meeting that mk12 was scheduled for a 2023 release that doesn't mean no, anything could happen it's going to be a set date i it i'm hoping it's a it's a set date i really am hoping that this is like a um this is a set date for the game. I really am hoping for that. But I also am so much of a nihilistic prick that I can believe that anything could happen and this game could get delayed. So, yeah, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic for this 2023 release. I really am. So, yeah. Really, am I excited? Hell yeah. Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Probably one of my favorite games of all time. And... I am very excited for this new Mortal Com uh, for this new Mortal Kombat game because I think it's been something we've been all excited for. Now, if only we could get Injustice Three going. So, <laughs> yeah, um, MK12 was a very fun game. The story mode, I do think the fact that they had to do an aftermath to finish the story says a lot. But hopefully, they fix things. So, yeah. So, what can we expect from the 12th Mortal Kombat game? Well, I'm wondering where the story is going to go now. Because remember, Raiden is no longer a god. He's mortal now, and Liu Kang is the, is the god. And remember, he stopped Shang Tsung from altering the timeline. So, now, Shang Tsung, um, Liu Kang, excuse me, Liu Kang has taken on the role of Raiden and is now training Kung Lao, who doesn't remember him, because he, he literally had to New 52 the new uni uh, the universe to st uh, um, after Kronika and, Shang, and, and um, Shang Tsung tried to fuck ev with everything. So, there's that. This also leaves that there could be a new era for new characters, which I'm always down for new characters in these games. Yes, it is always fun to have... Um, don't get me wrong, I love... A lot of legacy characters, but it never hurts to have new characters. I mean, Cassie was a great addition. Jack, uh, uh, Jackie was a great addition. Collector, cool design. Devora is up in the air, but still, that that fatality from MK uh, from MK11, you know the one I'm talking about, is probably one of the most grossest and awesome fata finishers I've ever seen in the game ever. And yeah, so that leaves the question as to. 
um, who's going to be in. I just want... Guys, I know we all want Melina. We all want our girl. But I really want Reptile back. I've, I've sorely missed Reptile since MK11. I, he wasn't in MK11, and uh, so I would love nothing more than to have my boy back. I know a lot of people say, really, Reptile's your main? Yes, Reptile is my main for Mortal Kombat, and I've missed him, so I don't care how they do it. I want Reptile back. That's that's my one request. Oh, that's my one request for this for MK12 is please let me have Reptile back. I've I've missed playing my boy. <laughs> Le uh, Melina definitely plays a lot like Reptile, and you know Aaron is also really cool. Uh, I enjoy playing as Aaron Black. I try not to be cheap. I really don't, guys. But um, yeah, this game. Yeah, I'm really excited. Like, it's finally, it's nice to have this, and also, it does kind of put it minded, it minds at ease of the future for NetherRealm Studios, uh, because, like I said, a lot of people were afraid it was going to get sold off or shut down because of this new regime change from you know, Warner, uh, at Warner Brothers. So this really, uh, so, also, I have a feeling that this might be a make-or-break-it game for ne uh, NetherRealm, because I'm a, I have this, I always have that fear that, like, if it doesn't do banger numbers... They're just going to gut it like everything else they've gut in the past. So that's why I'm a little worried. But Mortal, you uh, like I know Mortal Kombat fans will join, will love this. And again, we got to talk about them guest characters. Like who is going to be the guest characters for here? I might do that as a separate video of guest characters I'd love to see in um, MK12, which I've done several videos on. But yeah, after getting you know RoboCop and Rambo and a few other characters. I do think it, it like I do think it warrants its own video, so I'll probably do that, um, in a, it, like as a separate video. But yeah, but still, MK12 coming hopefully this year. But I would not be shocked if they did delay it till next year, until 2024. That's that's always what's on my mind because yeah, you'd think that we've got that we would have gotten a trailer or something at this point or a teaser. Maybe we'll get that at, at um, maybe sometime this week or next week. But, yeah, uh, I'm just happy it's coming. I'm just happy it's official. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of, MK, of the MK12 announcement? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? And what characters, not guest characters, because we're going to talk about that in a different video, but what characters are you hoping to see in the MK universe back in this game? Just comment below, let me know. I know a lot of you got. like I said, this isn't going to be guest characters we want to see. This is just regular characters we want to see like I said, I just want my boy Reptile back. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.